Welcome back to Morning Blend, everybody. I'm Kirsten Holmes. I'm Walt Gray. Let's get to all of today's national and local top stories in about five minutes as we quickly move to Daily Blend. Yeah, we got to start with Carly in traffic because it's starting to rain out there. You know that can pose some problems, Carly. Yeah, definitely. We're looking at slick roads this morning, and it's going to continue through your morning commute as you're heading out the door. Now, I do want to let you know of a major injury accident that Modesto police here are tweeting about. Now, this is a major major injury accident on Oakdale Road. Now, traffic is blocked in both directions, and it is blocking off Scenic Drive to Surrey Avenue. So just be aware of that if you need any of those roads to get onto the freeway or the highways. Uh, you may have to take an alternate route at this point. Now we are looking at some areas of good drive times for the most part early this morning. The rain isn't impacting too many of the roadways just yet. Of course, less cars also on the roadway. Elk Grove into downtown 19 minutes on I-5 and you're taking Elk Grove into downtown from 99. That's going to take you about 16 minutes. But how's it looking out there, Rob? Rainy out there in the Gilmore backyard? Uh, yeah, it's raining. And you know, uh, when it's raining at 530 in the morning, Carly, I think you and I, uh, we know what's going to happen. Happen. We know that there's going to be some traction issues and the roads are usually delayed with things like you mentioned there with uh, some crashes, sometimes serious. Uh, but it's raining out here in the Gilmore backyard and you got to plan for the rain. But I think the secret with today is that it's a cold rain. So not only a rain jacket, but something to insulate you as well. So let's go ahead and show you what's going on here. Uh, we've got a few things that are worth knowing. First of all, rain obviously this morning, but there's those cold temperatures along with it. 43 in Marysville with rain, that's a cold rain. And then you can see some temperatures up high, cold enough to snow obviously. So this system is a quick hitter, spun up very quickly. We've got rain in the morning. We've got some snow that's gonna start falling in the mountains here. And that's snow level right around four or 5,000 feet. So if anywhere in the Sacramento area, you're looking at rain for the early morning commute. It's a little bit different for Stockton and Modesto. I think Stockton, you're looking at rain. Modesto, a bit of a break, uh, but I would say within the next 20, 30 minutes, you're gonna be looking at rain as well. One final thing about timing is that it's not gonna be rain all day long. I think by the afternoon, it's gonna be very on and off with some moments of some sunshine. For the mountains, it's more consistent light uh, snow. And then by tonight, it clears up. We're gonna have a dry Thursday, a dry Friday, and then during the day on Saturday, late in the day, a new system approaches with rain and yep, more snow on a weekend. So that's the story here for Valley Spots. We sent Carlos Herrera up into the mountains to try and find some snow. Car Carlos, tell us what you're seeing, seeing and tell us what you're feeling. Oh, feeling nothing actually, because I can't feel my toes or my hands right now. Definitely cold. I'm in Nyack, about 5,500, 5, I should say, uh, feet in elevation. This is where we usually come um, to meet people who are uh, filling up their tank at this gas station and, of course, chaining up to hit the road. Right now, a light snow rain mix falling right now. Uh, we've seen some snowpack, of course, on uh, side streets, but not enough uh, that have been sticking from today. Um, of course, these uh, conditions are rather dangerous for folks who are going to be uh, hitting their morning commute on this morning. Now, uh, take a look here. This is what's dangerous about the snow falling here. These patches of ice that stick to the ground, really slippery and make us very dangerous for drivers. Of course, this is not on a main road or on a freeway, but this is some of the patches that you might encounter if you're driving on a major highway today, especially 80 and 50. So you might want to be extra cautious for that and slow down. Right now, not many folks have decided to park and to chain up just yet, but we've been mentioning it here on Morning Blend as those temperatures continue to drop and the pre precipitation starts moving in, we'll definitely start seeing some people uh, just really putting on their chains and hitting the road. It's definitely starting to fall here a little thicker than it was earlier. For now, we'll send it back over to you. All right, you found the snow. All right, Carlos, uh, slick driving conditions today. Thank you. We will check back. Turning now to the impeachment inquiry into President Trump, today's historic vote. The House of Representatives is set to impeach the president today, capping off months of investigation, weeks of public hearings as well. The president is accused of obstructing Congress and abusing the power of his office for personal gain when he pressured the leader of Ukraine to investigate his political opponents. And Mr. President, do you take any responsibility for the fact that you're about to be impeached? No, I don't take any, uh, zero, uh, to put it mildly. In a six-page letter to House Speaker Pelosi, the president slammed impeachment, calling it illegal, partisan, attempted coup, and accusing Pelosi of declaring open war on American democracy. All around the country, thousands gathered ahead of today's historic vote from the steps of the Capitol in California to New York, Chicago, 
Left-wing groups organized rallies in hundreds of cities where people demanded lawmakers vote to impeach the president. So here's how it all is going to go down today. After a procedural vote, House members will get one last chance to debate the two formal articles of impeachment. They'll have six hours to do that. The final vote will be held immediately after that. It is expected to pass along party lines this afternoon at about 3.30 hour time. We have full coverage uh, right after Morning Blend ends at seven o'clock. You see Kirsten behind me, she's gonna have more top stories. All right, we got some other top stories for you right now in your Daily Blend. PG&E in crisis. A bankruptcy judge has approved the company's $11 billion settlement with insurance companies. And there's a $13.5 billion settlement with wildfire survivors. It's a big step forward for PG&E as it tries to get out of bankruptcy by the end of June. The company will have to do that to tap into the state's new wildfire fund, and that money will be crucial to keeping PG&E in business. From private to public, Davis is the latest city to push for PG&E to become publicly owned. The idea is to buy out existing shareholders with bond money that customers would pay over time in their monthly bills. Mayor Brett Lee says he thinks it'll work since SMUD already works in Sacramento. So right now SMUD is a customer-owned utility. It provides electricity for the people. It's reliable, it's safe, it's dependable. Mayors across the state have endorsed a plan including Stockton, Modesto, and Sacramento. Murder at a wedding. Police in Southern California say two wedding crashers beat a groom to death outside his own reception. Witnesses say the men were trying to get free alcohol when Joe Melgoza confronted them and a fight broke out. He died at the hospital. The two were arrested and turned out to be brothers who live in the area. And that is your daily blend of news and information. If you got something you want to share with us, when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10. Over